And just like that, we're back. We're on our way right now to San Diego to shoot at Bali High. We're on our way right now, and this is the first time that we're shooting at this venue, so we're pretty curious to see what it's gonna look like. We did do a little bit of Googling just to kind of get familiar with what it looks like. So we have somewhat of an idea. Jeff is gonna start with the groom today to do some getting ready with the groomsmen. And then once they're done with that, they're gonna head over to the venue to scout around, look around, see what we're gonna do the first look. The bride mentioned that she wanted to do it by the pier at Valley High. So we're gonna see if we can do it uh, somewhere in that area where the best angles are. It is overcast today, which is good. So that way the lighting is gonna be a lot more even. Here's a little tip if you go to San Diego from Orange County, always add an hour to your trip because it <laughs> said it was gonna be two hours from my place. We left three hours in advance and right now we're gonna get there right on time. There's an additional hour of traffic right now that we're sitting in right now. If you're going to San Diego from Orange County or Santa Barbara from Orange County, add an extra hour to your trip at least so you're not pulling out your hair on the way. Today, Angela is the planner from One Fabulous Events. We worked with her plenty of times. We know that we're in good hands. Yeah, it's gonna be a nice smooth day, so follow along, guys. So we just finished with the getting ready portion. It was pretty simple, nothing too crazy. Did a few details, did some candids, and then went straight to getting in the dress. Now we're heading over to the venue so we can get some first look, wedding party. And I let the wedding party know, hey, let's do all the wedding party photos before the ceremony. And then you guys can enjoy a cocktail hour. I always throw in that second part so that way we get them on our team to cooperate because who doesn't want to enjoy some cocktail hour? Looking at each other. Perfect. Michael, give her a little kiss on the cheek. And then both of you guys, eyes closed. Good. And everyone looking straight this way. Ready? One, two, three. Nice. And again, ready? One, two, three. Nice. Last one, give me whatever you want. I'm just going to count to three. Ready? One, two, three. Perfect. Just a little stare, I like that, cool. All right, all right, so here we are. Uh, that was a good transition, right? It was, it was perfect. <laughs> we are, we're about to start the ceremony right now. Um, everything went really well. They have a medium wedding party, seven and seven, so it's not too crazy. And now we're about to do the ceremony. People are starting to arrive. One thing that we always try to do is do the wedding party, if we can, before the ceremony. So then after the ceremony, we just need to do immediate family photos, some couples session after that, and that's it. If we can knock out the wedding party, that's the best thing because there's not you know, that big group that we have to do. So first look, wedding party, done. Now we're moving on to ceremony. After that, we're gonna do some family, and then a little bit of more bride and groom, and then they can relax and enjoy their wedding. Then we just are flies on the wall and capture whatever is going on. So families, we just did families in this area, not in the front of the ceremony, which is normally where we do it. The reason for that is that the sunlight was terrible. It was coming straight on, so it would have made everybody blind and it would have been very harsh lighting. So instead, we brought them to this shade area where we're about to do a photo with this lovely couple. So let's do it. There we go. So right there, Wyatt, can we do the top button button? There we go. So I'll have you like right there because I'm using high speed sync. Gotcha. We're about to do. There's not a crazy looking sunset, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the MagMod modifiers to create something a little bit more punchy than what's here. So on the front light, we're gonna use the half CTD. What that's gonna do is by using that, we're gonna shift our white balance on our camera to about eight or 9,000 Kelvin, which is gonna make everything around them look extremely, extremely warm. And then they're gonna look color corrected because this is gonna have a little bit of a blue tint on it behind them to over exaggerate it we may use a CTO to add a little bit of backflash to have really warm light behind them I'm not sure if I'm gonna like that so we're gonna test that out if we don't we take it away and we use just a CTB in the front we may also put a grid on that one but I'm not sure yet we're gonna find out in a second let's test it out with you Jeff and then after that we'll go and grab the couple and actually you know what guys we're gonna have to even go higher in post because even at 9,900 Kelvin, it's not 
it's not warm enough. You still look blue. So in post, we're gonna have to raise it to like 14,000 and it's gonna look super orange around them. Let me just see how I like the backlight because that I'm not completely sold on, but let's see. Yeah, I like the backlight. It just adds a little bit on the floor. Can you go and grab them? Tell them it's gonna be two seconds. Yep. Thank you. Even though we're shooting it at the highest white balance that the camera will allow me, which is 9,900, in post, we're gonna raise it even more because it doesn't let us go further than that. Even with just a half CTB, it's not letting us flatten out or, or color balance. So we're gonna push it even higher in post, probably like 14,000, something like that in Lightroom. Showing you guys what it looks like after we do a little processing. But yeah, that way you can add more color to the scene. Everything's been going very smooth. And um, right now we let the couple go and grab something to eat, grab something to drink, relax for a little bit. It's been a very long day for them. So if I already feel like we got what we needed, I'm not just gonna keep beating them and keep shooting until they're exhausted. I would rather they get something to eat, get something to drink, and then you know, hit the reception with a lot of energy. To that, we'll probably do some sort of night shot. No, we definitely will. We will definitely do a night shot sometime in the evening and, and then say good night and then let them party the rest of the night away. Sometimes we work with videographers that we've worked with in the past. Sometimes we work with Sergio who we recommend. Today, we got Wyatt in the house. So, Let's go on. <laughs> so Wyatt, we just met today actually. He's the bride's cousin, right? Yes. Um, Angela told us that he was gonna be recording, shadowing us and all that. I thought it was gonna be somebody with a little rebel, no offense everybody. And I thought, <laughs> but then he shows up and he's got this full rig and I'm like, all right, he's not messing around. So we've been having an awesome time. Yeah, let me and just tell you, Elmer has been the their whole the whole team are amazing people. If you don't have a wedding photographer and you're in the San Diego area, book them. All right, hold on, I gotta pay you now. No. <laughs> Don't play around. Get the best, okay? They're here. That means a lot. I didn't tell them to say that. They're here. <laughs> Get them, okay? You. And you know what? I'll fly out from North Carolina. Get the best team. You're damn right. Yeah. You're damn right. <laughs> right now, cocktail hour is happening. During cocktail hour, one thing that we like to do is have our second photographers go around, do group photos of people, getting them together, getting candids, um, doing details, all that stuff. So while we do family photos, while we do more wedding party photos, if need be, while we do more bride and groom photos, our second photographer is doing all the candidates and all the things that we can't get because it's happening at the same time. I'm Escobar and I'm gonna be doing a little uh, how-to shoot on today's wedding. So uh, first off, we're gonna take our professional uh, photographer here, Julio, and uh, yeah, we're gonna make some pot fire. That's right. So we were asking the DJ right now um, about if they can have our speakers for the speeches stand next to the bride and groom. The reason that we like doing that is because sometimes some DJs might have speaker on the dance floor, bride and groom obviously sitting at the head table, and now you gotta go back and forth, back and forth to get reactions, you know. In, with two photographers, yes, it's a little bit easier, but with video, now you're setting up for two different angles, so instead, by having them all in one direction, it's just easier to shoot one angle, and you don't have to constantly keep resetting your, your lighting. <laughs> And uh, this week I had a chance to meet their family, her family and uh, when I met them. For this shot, we're going to set up with two flashes. One of them's going to be in the back. Uh, nothing on it. One of them's gonna be in the front with uh, just a mag grid, uh, so that way it narrows down the flash quite a bit so it doesn't spread all over the place. The idea behind this is just to get a spotlight on them and a little backlight so it lights up, you know, so they come out of the background so they're not so dark around them. And then I'm gonna shoot through the bush over here. I saw the light right there, which is gonna give me a little extra color in the foreground. So that's gonna give me color, and then by being on daylight white balance, everything is gonna look really, really warm. So that's the idea behind this. That light is gonna look almost orange, as far as I know, because of the white balance shift. So with daylight, everything is gonna look very warm here, except for what gets hit by a flash. All right, so we just wrapped up. We got me and Julio right here. Uh, Jeff is just grabbing the rest of his stuff and he's coming out. One thing that we do at the end of the night is we always exchange cards. So I'm going to take one of Jeff's cards. He's going to take one of my cards. And that way we both have a full backup of the full wedding at separate computers. I actually go an extra step and I don't format these cards until this wedding has been delivered to our couples. 
you don't have to do that but i think it does help to kind of put you at ease in case anything happens to the drives you have two backups already and then you know you always have the uh, memory cards in case you need to restart a job if something happens so exchanging cards and uh hopefully the ride home isn't so bad